body language for pictures and I'm not talking about posing today. But adding these body language tips will be great for people who get nervous in front of the camera or feel clueless. The moment you feel like you don't know what to do, you jump into your cliche poses and nervous smiles. By changing a few things about the way you hold your body, your body can dictate your brain to follow what the body wants your brain to do. Want to know how to master confident body language in front of the camera? Then you are at the right place. Welcome to Blush With Me. Inner wrist versus the back of your wrist. Now showing your inner wrist in pictures can make you appear feminine versus showing the back of your wrist which makes you appear very confident and this is great for headshots but when you show your inner wrist it is great if you're just getting some beauty shots done. Take a look at these pictures for yourself to see the difference. Number two, hands in front of your crotch or in front of your stomach versus push your butt back a little bit and hold your hands gently around the waist. Your hands automatically want to hide what you're most conscious about. What do you do when you're nervous? Do it, do it now. And look at yourself in the mirror and then don't do it, right? So when you're nervous, you, you do this, you do this. So avoid doing that, straighten up actually lean in this way your face catches more attention and you're automatically making the wider part of your body look smaller by pushing them away from the lens this will only make your waist and your hips look slimmer so when you lean in your face catches more attention and you're automatically making the wider parts of your body appear smaller by pushing them away from the camera lens this way you can make your waist and hips appear more slimmer and when you lean in towards the lens, it looks like you're interested in taking the picture versus when you push yourself back. Especially if you're a plus size woman, make sure you look up my video on how should plus size women pose for pictures. And also there's a video that talks about how to dress if you are a plus size woman. Tip number three, light reflects from the floor or from the window. Open your eyes in that direction. Take a look at these two pictures, eyes up, versus eyes lower. Now I don't regard big eyes or blue eyes or elongated eyes as standard to measure beautiful eyes. I think how your eyes dictate power, smile and even humility is what makes them attractive. And tilting your chin down helps you catch the light that's reflecting off of the ground making them appear more attractive and attention grabbing. Point number four is lip biting and fake smiles. Now this is what happens when people are nervous in front of the camera. First of all, just stop biting lips if you know this is what's making you look nervous. And if you want to know how to avoid fake smiles, then I have a video on that. I will link it in the description below and all these videos that I want you to watch will be linked at the end of this video. Tip number five, you really need to try this one. This can instantly change your posing and confidence game. Sticking your whole hand in your pocket versus sticking your thumb out. Look at any of the fashion models, celebrities, upscale brand photo shoots, you will notice a thumb sticking out of the pocket. Every time I'm posing my clients or even kids, I tell them to stick their thumb out of their pocket. And this just makes the whole photo shoot look like it was a Ralph Lauren commercial. These are great tips, not just for pictures, but try them in any social situation and you will only appear more body confident. How do you like this video? I want to know that in the comments below. My jewelry is Satat Sustainable and Parmita collaboration. So this is my first collection that I have launched to help small businesses owned by women. I'm trying to help them using my social media platforms such as Instagram and YouTube. I've created a separate social media page on Instagram. It's called breaking barriers underscore Parmita, where I connect 
brands with influencers so if you are a brand or an influencer or want to be an influencer then please follow that page and also follow satat underscore sustainable on instagram and watch the collection on my instagram handle too please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button that share button and comment and also come and see me next week this is parmita your chicago based image coach and photographer don't forget to reach out if you want to work with me to help you create the image you always wanted for yourself or if you want to do both until next week blush with me